Hey guys, I'm Mario and welcome to Wine for Beginners. I want to thank you so much for participating in my course. I cannot wait to ignite your passion and prepare you to go on a life-changing journey through a glass of wine. Let's face it, the subject of wine, it's very difficult to learn. Think about it. First of all, you got to figure out what the wine's grape or varietal is, what appellation, which is like the wine growing area where the wine comes from, then the vintage, that's the year the wine's made. Then when you try to taste the wine, then you have to figure out what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. Up to this point, you may be approaching the wine without proper information. A lot of times people get confused because they don't understand what the wine actually looks, smells, or tastes like. We've all been there before. I remember when I was first learning to sell wine at a fine dining restaurant. I, I remember describing a wine to a guest so well that they actually ordered an iced tea. I'll never forget it. I, I remember saying like, oh, this Pinot Noir tastes like cherries, light, no tannins. I mean, it was terrible. I designed Wine for Beginners today because I want to showcase to you the process of how I began my wine education. I will be developing the sommelier in you by creating the structure to enable you to process wine knowledge quickly. I will go, I'll only go over six wines, three whites and three reds. That's it. But with each wine, I will break down the seven characteristics and the varying levels of each grape. First of all, I created a wine description board. Take a look at what it looks like. Welcome to the wine description board. This is the centerpiece to begin your wine education. Instead of using words and paragraphs, we're going to use images of items you've already consumed to help you understand what the wine is going through. We're going to start with a color. The color is what the wine looks like in your wine glass. Swirl the wine glass and smell, and now you'll discover fruit aromas like grapefruit. The non-fruit aromas are anything you smell that isn't fruit, like a white flower. After smelling the wine, you're going to taste and you'll understand how the wine feels. For example, the acidity, which measures the brightness and salivation, similar to lemonade. Next up, tannins, which measures the dryness that you feel in your mouth, like after eating a walnut. Next, the alcohol measures the warmth of the wine and is directly correlated to the color in your wine glass. For example, screwdriver being low in alcohol. Remember for the future, the higher the alcohol, the darker the color. And finally, the body, where we'll use milk to measure the weight of the wine. Here's what to expect when taking this course. The seven characteristics in each glass of wine. You will be using food and beverages that you have consumed to help retain the information. You will learn how to properly taste a glass of wine. And you'll also learn the varying levels of flavor characteristics like acidity, oak, tannin, alcohol, and body. I love this. Having the structure to enhance your wine knowledge at a faster pace than before. And finally, expect wine for beginners to push your curiosity to branch out to taste and learn about other ones. Are you ready? Let's get ready for the course.